Tom Kalubovic here again, and welcome to this video on uh, doing a, a plant project in the AEC collection series. Um, and today we're going to cover uh, doing reports in the data manager uh, within uh, the, the plant software itself. So part of uh, the, the PNID and the plant 3D uh, menu ribbon there is a button at the top right there called uh, data manager so that all that means is that we can uh, have a look at the data inside this current drawing inside the whole project itself or even inside just some predefined reports that we can create here as well so these reports are created from inside the project setup so we just right click on the project setup uh, go into it and then within the next dialog box uh, there is a button here called reports and then obviously we can start creating some reports in here there's a modified tab uh, in there so we can obviously look at whichever properties we need or want to uh, just for the purpose of time and this exercise I'm just going to leave it as is on the default options so before I jump into actually doing the reports inside uh, the PNID, I'm going to show you what you can do with uh, the data manager uh, and Excel. So we have a whole bunch of valves in here, uh, and I'm going to do some modifications to those, uh, but in, in, in the properties, but I'm not going to do it in the model itself. I'm going to export it out uh, as an Excel file. So. I'm just going to export the active node so to export this uh, in the data manager there's a button about halfway along at the top there called export uh, I'm just going to do the active node and I'm going to stick it on my desktop as an Excel sheet and go OK so what that is going to do is essentially take all of this information and then export it out to an Excel file which gives us the ability to open browse on my desktop the gave up list and all that means is that we now have the ability to come in here and edit edit some options in here now there will be some locked values so the PMP ID number if I'm trying to change it obviously is going to get an error uh, we can go through and change some of these other bits but I'm just going to make the manufacturer so I'm just going to say that they're all from Tyco uh, their model number ABC123 uh, and the supplier is um, the house of valves okay and again just for, for ease I'm just going to copy these down so they're all from Tyco, they're all with the same model number and they're all the same supplier. So I'm just going to save this and then close it. And then we're going to import that data. So next to the export button, there's another one called import. And it just says that there's a log file going to be created. Now, what are we importing? Obviously that file and just the display data. So what that is done now it's put a little bit of a cloud around the items that have changed now this cloud is not persistent it's only for this exercise of the importing of the the, the, the data here so you can see the old value is unassigned and the new value is now Tyco new value is ABC123 and the new supplies has of valves so I can accept or reject them one at a time or all of them so obviously I'm just going to say yes to all of them and now it's committed that data to the database so just to double check that I'll go into my model space look at the valve properties and you can see that that data has been committed to it so again a very handy feature that you can go through and maybe issue uh, these Excel sheets to your process engineer in the office um, and then that way they can review it so for the project reports I'm going to do the same thing but just do a valve list so I'm going to say export that to my desktop and then I'm going to fire up Excel again. I usually like to 
open the software first and then open the file that it needs to. So again, let's go to our desktop, look at the valve list. Uh, yeah, and then you can see here we have the full valve list uh, in this uh, report tag size, which line number it sits on, the service, the size, the spec, uh, the description. You can see the manufacturer field has come through, which drawing number it's on, which drawing file name, and the PMP ID number. Now, again, you can go through and customize all of these, but I'm not even going to. Uh, get into that sort of depth just for this uh, video. Uh, again, you can save this if you want to. You can go through and modify it. You can create pivot tables. Uh, basically, you have a list of objects in your project. So that's really it for Data Manager. It's really quite simple. You can, again, you know, go through and customize it. You can modify uh, the look and the feel of these reports just for a quick one within the software. Um, so for this week, that's data, data Manager. Next week, we're going to actually go through the Report Creator, which is a little application that gets installed with Plant3D as part of the collection. So that's it here. Um, Plant3D actually comes with three applications, Plant, Spec Editor, and the Report Creator. The Report Creator is what we're going to cover next week. That'll make your reports look a little bit more fancy. We can put corporate logos on it. Uh, adjust headings and do a little bit more sorting and refining on those uh, those reports. So, thanks for watching. And uh, if there's any comments, please make uh, make them down below. Uh, like or dislike the video, but uh, I'll talk to you all next week. See ya.